been fantastic. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. I've seen the world two, three times over before I was even 30. I started with Aretha Franklin when I was 15. I've sung with Rick James, I've sung with Tina Marie, Bette Midler, Patrice Russian, Ashford and Simpson. I've opened up for the Commodores. Right. Stage is home for me. I love the camaraderie of it. I love watching people's emotions, you know, that come from what I do. I have managed for 53 years to support myself on my music. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Two thousand fifteen, you know, getting ready to go out <laughs> to Jamaica <laughs> and sing with the emotions, and you know, the, it was a Motown review thing I was doing, singing with them. And I sat on the couch and couldn't hardly breathe. I was just panting, panting, panting. And I went to emergency and I flatlined, and that's when they told me I needed a new heart. Four months later, after staying in the hospital for four months, they finally called me at three o'clock in the morning and said they had a twenty-one year old heart for me. I said, "Come on, let's do it." You know? And the story goes on from there. It seems like since I've had the heart, it keeps me alive. I wake up every morning, but I'm having all these other little things that's, you know, been going wrong with me. Lord knows I'm only here. I paid for everything with the money that I had put aside. Over $300,000 in just medical bills trying to pay rent, trying to take care of my phone. I mean, it all just kind of crashed down on me at one time. I was staying in a storage unit. I backed my car in, and that's where I slept. I stayed in my car for a little over a year. I have to do dialysis now. I have to be a dialysis at five. Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I first met Diane in 2016. She just had her surgery done, and she needs some help, and she contacted Tsuji, and that's why we went. So we quickly assembled a team. We all went um, to, to meet with her and understand her condition. We decided to help her um, cover part of her medical expense because at the time that is a major cause for, for her. Right now she needs uh, some help for lodging. She cannot be homeless again. So that's the reason. And then we started to uh, help her pay uh, part of uh, like $500 a month to, to support her pay rent. So this is a car and call the number that you can yeah. activate. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a lot easier for me to come up with 300 than 800. That helps me a lot. My father forgot to put it on the birth certificate, so he told me not to. Gradually, we become friends, and um, we share our life, and she shared hers. Me and Chuye just hit it off. <laughs> we just hit it off really good. I, I really liked oh, it. A very thorough person, okay. <laughs> My daughter passed away because of heart failure. And so I shared my story to her. And she immediately uh, comforted me. So she understand that. And in fact, um, just last week, my brother also passed away because of heart failure. It's so sudden. Um, and she also facing a very, very sudden circumstances. Um, she need a heart. And she's lucky, she got a heart. And that's the story I also share with her. I say, well, you have a heart and you survive. Even though she's not well, she's always positive. Um, so every time I visit her, I feel I was got comfort. I'm not comforting her, I got comfort from her.
I'll never, never retire. Right now, the only places that I'm singing is the open mic. And like I said, that's just for me to keep up on my chops. I'm gonna pack my bag. I'm gonna go have the port put in my stomach. And I'm gonna hit the road. I do think um, Diane is very, a very strong woman. She demonstrates how a person, when you have a difficult time, you still can be very positive about everything um, happening in your life. They don't need to give up. She never give up. So I admire her courage. Put your hands together for Miss Diane Carter. I don't need experience. I'm alive. I'm alive and I can still sing. Just watch your extra time.